Hi, how are you all today? It's Lorna here from the Alan and Lorna Project. Hope you're having a great day so far. Um, I wanted to have another little play today, so I've decided to try and make some faux pampas grass. I love pampas grass, but I'm not paying those prices. And um, I did try with some string, but I made a terrible mess out of it. But it was my own fault. I'm just, sometimes I just get a little bit OTT with my glue gun. So I've just got to calm it down a little bit. So this is what I need, or if you're gonna work along with me, this is what we need. Basically a stick of some sort. I found these sticks in the garden, so I brought them in, give them a clean. Um, we need a, a hot glue gun. I'm using some wool. This looks rather gorgeous actually and probably far too nice to be making faux pampas grass out of it. But hey, who cares? Some scissors and also I've got just some card here that I'm going to cut up to make a little template. So um, let's make a start, shall we? I'm going to start by... Popping on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make a little template out of this in the simplest way I can, which is basically going to be the width of my the width of my wool across my stick. Now I am I, I like to go a little bit OTT. I'm not very good at being minimalist, you know, I like everything to be a bit big and bold. Sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm going to just try and go just a tiny bit smaller than I did with my string. Because it the string looks a little bit like one of the dogs has attacked it. But no, that was just me making it. So here we go. I'm going to... I can keep that like that because it's double width, but I'm going to use it this way. Okay, so let's turn you around so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. In case you're wondering what this is, this is just some faux flowers that I cut up for the last project that I did and they just happened to live in with my glue sticks. <laughs> so that is all good. Now, with your stick, if you want to, of course, well, you can do what you like with it. It's your stick. Um, I see lots of people roll the wool around it or paint it. You can do what you like with it. I've decided just to keep mine um, as it is for now, just to give it that natural look. Uh, let's plug in the, the glue gun. Get that warmed up. Actually, I'm going to use the other side of that to rest that on. Okay, so let's start with this gorgeous wool. It's very fine, this wool. That's the only thing. But, you know, who knows? It might just be perfect for what I want. I'm just going to start by wrapping it round. Oh, flowers all attached to it now. <laughs> that would be lovely, actually, wouldn't it? Oh, I might have to unroll some to get me started. So I'm just going to wrap it around. can probably stick this somewhere couldn't I and it would just sort of like unroll a little bit like a, um, a kitchen roll or oh, pop it in my lap let's see how that works as long as I don't get it on the floor because we've got dogs and I don't want to get dog hair on it okay so that's a that's a start so I'm going to cut it at the top And cut the other end too. There you go. And basically that is our first bit. Okay. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Yay. Did you like how I did that? <laughs> right. Okay. So I've got a... A nice little section of, of wool here 
um if i need more i'm just gonna add more to it sort of like as we go so let's let's go for a stick let's go for see there's typical me let's go for a big stick <laughs> and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take a few at a time about four or five make sure they're sort of lined up reasonably well obviously they don't have to be exact but sort of lined up reasonably well and i'm just going to start by popping a little bit of glue on the top here oh here we go feel a bit cat handed i'll be right once i get going this is where i have to be careful not to put too much on This is me going over and over and over it. Actually, I'm not even going to put all that on. I'm going to put this bit on. Oh, can't find it now. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not a very good start, is it? But, you know, I'm being honest with you. I'm not hiding any mistakes. I need to make sure that I know where sort of the middle of the wool is well more or less anyway so let's let's go again shall we and i'm going to go a little bit further closer to the top and try and put it down a little bit quicker and in a sort of a, a single file if you know what i mean it doesn't help if the stick keeps turning around which is probably my fault Oh dear, that's not a very good start, is it? I know a good workman shouldn't blame their tools, but I think this is very sort of very cheap glue sticks I've got here. They came with the glue gun from Amazon. So I'm just going to keep pressing on that for a little bit. Oh, now that's a bit better, isn't it? Now, last time I sort of did front and back as well, and I don't really think that helped me because I just had like glue all over the place. I was in a right to an oh, <laughs> I was in a right to an eight, which I seem to be now. Ideally, I want to sort of line these up as I'm going, but my glue is drying so quickly. I'm going to take it off and do it again that bit. I'm sorry if this is painful to watch. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what my video did then. I just looked up at one moment and the whole thing had sort of stopped. <laughs> Maybe it was getting fed up with me getting in a state with this. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to do one more with you watching me and then I'm going to speed it up a little bit and shoot on to the next bit. I've done my stick, I've done it to the length that I think will be okay and um, I've actually got all that left over so I didn't need all of that and I thought I might be making more. So I'm not sure if I said that you also need a comb and what we're going to do now is we're going to just sort of like hold it gently and comb it through. I've tried to get rid of the the glue gun stringy bits as I've been going, but I'm sure I'll find more. So I'm just going to hold it sort of in place. Obviously, if any little bits come off, that it doesn't matter. They're easily stuck back on again. I should probably go with the widest part first, shouldn't I? And we're just sort of like separating all those little strands that are there oh, i feel like i should have a child going ouch as i'm doing this <laughs> so after i've gone over with a wider tooth comb 
I'll then go in with the with the smaller tooth comb. I did use the dog brush last time, which probably wasn't the most hygienic, but <laughs> it did the trick. <laughs> Oh, we're starting to get a little bit more disheveled now. There we go. So I've combed it both sides. Um, I've sort of also given it a little comb going this way. And I've also trimmed any really, really crazy bits. So... Um, I think it's actually quite cool and quite realistic. One part of me wanted it fuller, but I think it's more realistic like this. So I'm going to go carry on and um, make a few more, pop them in a pot and see what you think. So here they are. I hope you like them. What do you think? If you do like them, please consider giving my YouTube channel a thumbs up or even a comment or even better, a share because um, then Mr. YouTube shares me about a little bit more. So I'm really pleased with them. Oh, so, oh, oh dear. Sorry about this. Oh gosh. Just getting big kisses as well. Excuse me, Casper. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you like it. I had great fun making this and um, hopefully we'll catch up soon.